So extra depth and perspective. As a record number of migrants arrive at the border, some advocacy groups say there's confusion as to who's expelled and who's allowed to wait for their court appearance in the U.S. due to what the government calls acute vulnerabilities. As ABC7's Madeline Arley explains, it's not clear why some are considered vulnerable and others are not. In El Paso, you can watch migrant families with small children sent back to Mexico across the International Bridge. And you can watch families also with small children sent to a shelter, allowed to stay longer as the adults are given ankle monitors. Local advocates say a murky new system is causing confusion about who is getting to stay in the U.S. People who have been allowed to stay um, has been completely at random. The Department of Homeland Security says most migrants arriving at the southwest border are not allowed to stay. That's because of Title 42, a health emergency order that allows Customs and Border Protection to expel migrants who pose a risk of spreading COVID. According to CBP data, more than 45% of family units arriving at the southwest border in February were expelled under the policy. If you combine families and single adults, the number is about 80%. It expels the majority of people trying to enter into the United States, whether that's expelling them to Mexico or whether that's putting them on a deportation flight right back to their country. The policy was used by the Trump administration and continued under the Biden administration. The difference, an exception for unaccompanied minors. The government is providing shelter and sending them to family in the U.S. while they go to court. Another exception, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas says the U.S. will not expel migrants with certain, quote, acute vulnerabilities. The problem... We know of no actual vulnerabilities that are making people exempt from Title 42. Linda Rivas is the executive director of Las Americas Immigrant Advocacy Center. Other attorneys and experts I spoke with didn't know either. We already have two cases of people who have been returned with disabled children in wheelchairs, people who are in imminent danger. It's really hard for us to agree with Mallorca's statement that acute vulnerabilities somehow uh, potentially are being exempt. Riva says she thinks the decisions are random. We pressed CBP, the Border Patrol, and even DHS in Washington to explain the criteria they use to decide who stays and who goes. We received the same statement from all three, saying they take circumstances into account. CBP did not provide specifics, but the agency says those circumstances include, quote, consideration of significant law enforcement, officer and public safety, humanitarian and public health interests. The statement stressed, quote, the border is not open. Rivas says ultimately that's the concern. We can't ignore the people who are already seeking safety on our borders by just letting them know that the border is closed. I don't think that that is, I think that's anti-American. It goes against our values. For now, the treacherous journey many are making to cross the border offers little certainty about what awaits them on the other side. Madeline Ottilie, ABC7.